Today, I'm excited to be sharing with you this incredible recipe that I got from one of my former coworkers. It is called albondigas soup. It is a Mexican meatball soup filled with the most delicious vegetables, seasonings, and broth that you ever wanna try. It is so delicious. I absolutely love it and I can't wait to share it with you. This is a perfect soup for a cold day when you want protein, nourishment, comfort, and incredible taste. So stay tuned to see how I make my albondigas soup. There are quite a few ingredients that I need for this recipe. Right now we're going to prepare the carrots, tomatoes, these are kumato tomatoes, they're sort of a brownish tomato, they're my favorite kind. We have tomatillos, I have two tomatillos um, in case you're interested. They're kind of a wonderful sort of tomato variety type of thing that um, has a kind of a lemony flavor to them, really special. Uh, we've got some cilantro, I've got some onion in here, I've got some little potatoes here, and I'm gonna start preparing the meatballs. So I'm going to chop some things and let you know as we go. So I'll start with the cilantro. I'm going to chop the whole bunch of cilantro and I'm going to reserve half of the cilantro for uh, the soup and the other half is going to go right into the meatballs. So I'm just going to take some time to chop this up nice and fine. All right, so half of this is gonna go in my bowl where the meatballs are gonna go, and the other half will be reserved for the soup itself. All right, in the bowl. Let's just move this a little to the side. And I'll get my onion cut. Actually, I'm gonna start with the tomatillos. So one tomatillo we're gonna use in the meatball and the other we're gonna use in the soup. Depending on how sort of lemony you like your soup to taste, um, you can use a little bit more or less. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna cut very thin discs and then I'm gonna dice them very small since they're going in the meatball. I want them to be really, really finely diced. To me, tomatillos are kind of like the green apple of tomatoes. They have that wonderful sort of tartness with the gentle tomato flavor. They're really lovely. All right. So this is also going to go in the bowl with the meatballs. So I'm just gonna scoop that up. And I will dice some in a minute to go in the soup as well. So I'm going to do the same thing to a tomato. going to go in the bowl too. And I'm going to cut up some onion. I have this massive red onion that my husband used some of, so I'm going to use some more of it. <laughs> um, yeah, that should be enough. Put half of that with the meatballs, save the other half for, or about half, save that for the actual soup. And while I'm getting that ready, 
I'm just gonna cut up the other vegetables that go in the soup. Have everything ready to go. These don't have to be quite so fine. Tomatillos are also much less um, watery than regular tomatoes. They're pretty watery. They're not as juicy as a traditional tomato. All right, and we'll get the carrots cut. You want nice chunk, chunks of carrot in your soup, or at least we do. You can cut them to taste, whatever size you like. And then last, I'm out of room on this cutting board, so let's get another one out. Just use this one. We'll cut up some of the potatoes. All right, I just have these little potatoes, so I'm gonna cut them a little bit bigger, I think, than the carrots. Those are all the things that are neat, that are cut up and ready to go in the soup. So I have my tomato, my tomatillo, my cilantro, my onion in there. And I'm using just a pack of Shady Brook Farms ground turkey. This is a little bit more than a pound. It's 20.8 ounces. This will make a nice amount of meatballs. So to that, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. I'm gonna add some oregano. Probably about a good teaspoon of oregano. I'm gonna add a little bit of adobo seasoning. Um, you should be able to get this in most stores. This has um, salt in it, so be careful, but it has some good seasoning in it as well. Okay. Some garlic, granulated garlic, garlic powder. Gonna do a nice healthy amount of that. And then the last thing I'm gonna add is some mint. Now this is actually mint that I grew in my garden this past summer, and then I dried it and have it on hand for cooking. Ideally you want fresh mint, but I don't have it. It's just not available. So I'm using a good healthy like two tablespoons of mint. Trust me, this gives this incredible flavor. All right, let's get them mixed up. I'm just gonna use a fork to mix this all together. You can certainly get in there with your hands. I'm just not in the mood. And I'm actually gonna let this sit and rest for about a half an hour so the flavors start to sort of absorb into each other. And then we're going to put them on a baking sheet and put, bake them in the oven. All right, this has been resting for a while and I'm just gonna use this cookie scoop to scoop little mounds of meatballs onto the parchment. So I have filled this, um, this baking sheet and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 24 meatballs. I definitely have some more, so I will get a second train and do a few more. I'm pretty sure that traditionally these are actually cooked right in the soup, but I am doing it this way for two reasons. 
Number one, I'm making them in the Instant Pot, and I haven't experimented with making this in the Instant Pot before, and um, I just wanna have them pre-cooked before I pop them in the Instant Pot. Um, number two is that because of the fact that I'm using turkey and the addition of the tomatillo and the tomato, turkey is already a pretty watery meat, and the addition with the, of the tomato and the tomatillo will make them even more watery. I want them to have the chance to kind of dry up just a little bit in the oven before I add them to the soup. You can do it however you like. You can roll them up and put them straight into the boiling soup if you're doing it on your stove top and you wanna do that, or you can try it my way. Whether you're doing it on the stove top or not, you can certainly bake your meatballs ahead of time. Okay, so that's all the meat. I'm gonna pop them in the oven at 350 for about a half an hour and then I'll get the soup prepared in the meantime. So I'm gonna get my Instant Pot ready. I'm going to turn it to saute, and saute on high, because I wanna get my vegetables going. So I've turned it on. I'm gonna add a little olive oil and the vegetables. Right, adding a little bit of olive oil. First thing I'm gonna add are my onions. my carrots, and my potatoes. To that, I'll add a little bit of salt. And I'll let that just saute for a minute or two. All right, now I'm ready to add some of my other ingredients. I'm gonna add cilantro, the tomatillo, and the tomato. I'm going to add a little bit more mint, not much. I really want to have just a little bit in here and more in the meatballs. And a little bit of oregano. Another teaspoon, I'd say. that all up. The smell is incredible. And I'm going to add the chicken stock. So I'm just using one 32 ounce thing of chicken stock. And if I feel that I need more liquid, which I probably will based on how many vegetables and meatballs I'm making, I'll just fill this with water and add uh, another 32 ounces of liquid, in this case water, to the pot, which is what I'll do right now. The amount that I'm making will easily feed eight people. There's four of us, but when I make a soup, I love to make a double batch because, or as much as I can, because I love to have the leftovers for lunches. Give that a stir. Make sure nothing is stuck to the bottom if you're using the Instant Pot. And I will let that come to a simmer and then I'll add the meatballs. All right, the meatballs are done. They look delicious and they smell amazing. So I am now going to add them to the soup. Soup is ready to receive the meatballs. So I'm just gonna add a few at a time. All right, that's all the meatballs. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stir. Also by baking them like this, it ensures that they don't sort of fall apart. I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna turn it to pressure cook and I'm just gonna do it for eh, 13 minutes should be fine. Start and we'll see it when it's done. I let it come to a slow release so I don't have to release the steam myself. It's piping hot, looks absolutely delicious, smells heavenly, lots and lots of meatballs, lots of carrots, wonderful. Let's get some in a bowl. And here we have this incredible bowl of soup. It is amazing. The flavors are so 
bright and piquant and just sharp and wonderful. The meatballs are delicious and tender and super tasty. Potatoes are cooked perfectly. Carrots are cooked perfectly. The herbs just, it's just, it's really, a, really, it's really a special soup. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you liked the video. Hit subscribe and tap the notification bell for notifications on future videos. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you next time. <laughs>